Hello everyone, um, welcome back to Virtual Mosey. Uh, my name is Steven, um, and today we're gonna be kind of taking everything that you have learned uh, throughout the week about the human anatomy and combining that into um, animal anatomy. So today we're gonna be doing a shark dissection. I'm gonna be referring back to the things you learned throughout the week with Mr. Ian and Catherine and everyone else. Um, so we're gonna be going through and doing a really cool shark dissection. So come on up and let's take a look. Um, so what you ha see here is what is called a dogfish shark. Um, it is pretty small. Uh, most people usually think when they think of sharks, they think of the really big ones like tiger sharks and great whites and all those really, really big sharks. Um, but majority of sharks, a little bit over 75% of all sharks are four feet or smaller. So most of you out there are probably bigger than most of the sharks out in the world. Um, so this is a very common shark that you'll see for different dissection labs. Um, often when you get to high schools and college, you'll probably see these around. Um, here at Mosey, these are one of the ones we use to show people different parts of different animals. So we're gonna talk about some things you see right on the outside. So we're gonna observe and learn some different things. So sharks, it kind of looks like they have skin, um, but we all know um, all, all animals in the ocean that are fish have scales. Yes, sharks have scales, even though it does look like skin right here. Um, they are called dermal denticles. So we're gonna break down that word. Dermal, skin, denta, teeth. So they have skin teeth or teeth scales. So pretty cool. So their scales look like very, very, very tiny teeth. So what that helps with them is it makes them more aerodynamic when they're swimming in the water, since they're an apex predator, meaning they're at the very top of the food chain, um, but also doesn't allow for bacteria to grow on their body. Pretty helpful. Um, so that actually has been used um, around the world uh, to put on hospital floors and boats as well. Um, there were some swimsuits that were made uh, around that as well, just make you more aerodynamic. Um, but we're going to go back and talking more about the things you see on the shark. So sharks are going to have two fins right along the side, these two right here. These are what is called a pectoral fin, just like our pectoral muscles. It's right on the same side as their pectoral muscles, which are found right around here. If you look over here at the dummy, kind of like right where your lungs are, right around here. Um, for our shark, we all know that sort of stereotypical uh, dorsal fin. Um, also, dolphins have those as well. Many other mammals do it too that live in the ocean. Um, we have the large fin down at the base of their tail. Um, so different sharks are gonna have different types of tail tails depending on where they live. Um, so the sharks live more near like coral reef areas, things like that. You can tell based off of the very long top part of their fin and the very short side. Um, we all know like great white sharks have that very long pointed tail. So let's go ahead and take a look at the underside of the shark. So we first thing you probably notice is that it is very, very, very light in color on the underside compared to the top. See how the top is nice and dark and the bottom is nice and light. That is called counter shading. Most animals in the ocean have that. That allows them to blend into the water a lot easier. The top part, if some animals below them, blends in with the light. If they're looking at them from above, blends in with the bottom of the ocean. Pretty cool. So some other really cool things we can see around here is if, um, if you look towards these two fins down here, these are going to be uh, some anal fins, but down right over here, uh, we are going to see that it is a male. He has things called claspers. That is the male reproductive system. Um, so we can easily tell what gender this shark was as well. Pretty cool. Um, we can see his mouth right over here. Uh, later on, we're going to try to get a little bit closer look into their jaw, uh, but their jaws are a little bit different than most other sharks. So their teeth are very, 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 very small compared to what we typically think sharks' jaws look like. Uh, there's one more thing on the outside that I do want to point out that is special for certain species of sharks. So there are these very small holes right behind their eyes, right around here. Those are called sphericals. Sphericals allow them, when they are not moving, to pump water through their gills. Most people think that sharks have to keep swimming to uh, stay alive. That is true for some species of sharks, but not all. Some, just like rays and skates, can do the same thing. Um, so, oh, we have some technical difficulties really quick. Let's get that back. Okay, so we're back. Um, so the spheracles right over here, that allows them to breathe 
when they're even not moving, because these guys are a lot smaller than most other sharks. So we're going to try to, they're going to try to use that to camouflage into the water a little bit easier, allowing them to hide a little bit more. Um, since it is a fish, they do have their gill slits right along here. We can kind of see them a little bit right over here. There's some there. You can see them awesome right there. Okay. So now we're going to get to the part that I'm sure everyone definitely wants to do is go ahead and start the dissection. So a part of the dissection uh, most people don't really think of is actually looking on the outside. So we did the outside observation, the outside dissection. Now we're going to go ahead and cut into the shark. So sharks do have some very, very, very tough skin because they have those teeth scales, the dermal denticles. Um, so it's going to take me a minute to go ahead and cut on inside, uh, but definitely feel free to uh, follow along. Um, and I will, uh, if there are any questions, uh, feel free to ask while I'm doing this. Um, I will talk about what I'm doing. So I have my scalpel right here that is very, very sharp. I'm going to go ahead and make my guide cuts, which I'm not going too far down. I'm just starting to make sort of a guide, making it easier for me to find where I need to cut into the shark. I will go back in and make a little bit deeper cuts, allowing me to get a little bit better into the shark itself. Okay, so what I did there is I broke through the very first layer of their skin. Um, just like us, they have many, many layers. Um, one thing I also am want wanting to make sure I don't do is break through and cut the inside internal organs because I definitely want to point those out, show you guys what they look like. Um, they do have very similar organs to us, um, but they all do a little bit something different, something special. So let's go ahead and see if I can get on in. Okay, so in the comments below, if anyone knows it already, can anyone tell me what the largest organ of the shark is? Let's see if anyone can tell me. Okay. Like I said, sharks have some pretty tough skin. Um, that is because, again, they are apex predators, so they do have to make sure they can withstand up to what their prey is. Okay. Have we had any questions yet? Can no. Answer skin. And Nikki also questions skin. Okay. Brian also questions skin. <laughs> Yeah, so skin definitely seems like the most uh, sort of answer people would think of because it is for us the largest organ. Um, but for sharks, it is actually their liver. So I will show you in just a minute why. I know, you're like, but their skin covers their whole body. How can that be smaller? So I'll show you in just a minute. Okay, so we have cut open our shark right here, and this is the first thing we can see. Kind of gross, but also I'll go ahead and point out what it's going on. So this part here, this big, nice gray mass right here, that is going to be their liver. Remember how I said it is very, very large. It goes all the way around their whole body. I'll go ahead and point out some more in just a second. So we have some of their digestive tract right over here. We have some of their stomach, which is buried down in there. Um, we'll go ahead and show you their liver since that is the biggest part of their body. Um, let me go ahead and pull some of it apart. So this right here is their liver. Very large, right? Compared to the size of this very small shark, the shark's about the size, is, is about a foot long. So its liver is pretty much the same size. The reason why sharks have such a large liver is that is how sharks float in the water. Um, other animals like fish have a thing called a swim bladder that they're able to inflate and deflate in order to keep them buoyant, staying at a certain level in the water where they want. Sharks don't have that swim bladder. They have a very, very fatty, oily liver that allows them to float in the water. Pretty cool, right? So unfortunately for us, our liver doesn't help us float in the water. We don't have a swim bladder either, um, but that's something special that sharks have that other animals do not. So let's take another good look into our shark. I want to point out some other things. So I'm going to move a few things out of the way. We're going to look right back here. So that sort of spotted line right there, that is going to be their spine. But sharks don't have any bones. 
When I say that, they don't have bones like us. All of their bones are made of cartilage. Same thing our nose and ears are made of. So they are very, very, a little more flexible than us. The only part of a shark that we can pretty much keep or uh, see from prehistoric sharks are going to be their teeth. Because their teeth are made of a little bit more stronger material than their cartilage. Okay, so I know we talked about there um, earlier this week. You learned more about um, our lungs as humans. Um, our lungs right over here. We all know we have two lungs. Sharks have sets of gills. Um, so their gills, like I mentioned earlier, are right along the side of their head. Um, and those gill slits right there. So what those gill slits do allow them to pull in water and the water comes out of their gills, so their circles bring water in or through their mouth and exit through their gills. So what that does is they're absorbing all of that oxygen in the water. Pretty cool. Like us, we breathe in air, air goes into our lungs, our lungs absorb all of the oxygen in the air, and then we just exhale carbon dioxide. Sharks just exhale the rest of the water. They don't exhale any uh, different chemical or anything like that. Um, so I did mention um, that we're going to try to get a closer look at the shark's teeth. Because we all know shark's teeth are pretty cool, um, and every shark has a different kind of shark tooth. Um, it all depends on what they eat. So let me see if I can get a closer look. We're going to try to, let me get another tool. So I'm going to try to pry open some of their teeth. So if you get a closer look, you can see that their teeth are a lot different than what you expect. So that is all of their teeth they have. So sharks have an unlimited amount of teeth throughout their lifetime. Um, that's because they don't have any hands, they don't have feet, they don't have really anything else. They only depend on their teeth. So these guys are going to be eating very, very small fish. Um, some uh, animals very similar in size are going to be, be eating crustaceans like crabs, snails, all those good crunchy creatures. So their teeth are more like a crushing plate. So they need to be able to crush their food um, often sharks will swallow their food whole. Some will take big chunks out, um, but most of them just swallow their food whole. So they may lose a few teeth along the way, um, but they have unlimited amount of teeth. Pretty awesome. We usually only get, you know, our normal two sets if we're lucky if we get all of our teeth. Um, sharks, don't have to worry about that. Um, but imagine, if you, were, uh, if you had as many teeth as a shark, how much money we'd have from the tooth fairy. That'd be pretty cool. I always wish that too. Even if it was just like 10 cents each. I'd have thousands and thousands of quarters. What? Okay, um, so that is, we're going to go ahead and take one more look on inside. Um, we have all of the, pretty much the same organs as we do. Um, let me go ahead and try to find the stomach, see if we can see what's there. Oh. Okay, I'm going to make some more incisions downward. So you can see a little bit further down. Let me try. Okay. Currently it looks like their stomach is empty. Um, sometimes when you're doing dissections, we may find something inside of the shark's stomach, which is always a surprise because um, we never know. Um, unfortunately, not today, um, but I wish that would have been pretty cool to see. Um, let me see if I can actually show you the full size of their liver. Um, which is one of my, again, favorite parts of a shark. So here is their liver. So that is pretty impressive for the size shark that this is. Um, imagine like an animal like a great white shark, how big their liver is. Um, okay. So does anyone have any questions about anything we've gone over today? Yes. Um, so it completely depends on the type of shark it is. Um, but for dogfish like this, uh, typically pretty small fish, um, two or three inches in size. Um, since these guys do tend to stay a little bit more towards the bottom um, to mid range, uh, they're going to be eating anything they can really get their teeth on. Um, but nothing too large, obviously. Um, so. I would say for these guys, nothing larger than about two to three inches. Three inches is pushing it because, again, these guys are only about a foot big. So that's, what, a fourth of their body. So we don't want to, uh, you know, eat anything too large, just like us. Okay. 
Uh, were there any other questions we had? No? Okay. Um, does it smell bad? That's a great question. Um, so these sharks are definitely preserved. Um, so whenever you do get something from, we get everything from uh, Carolina Scientific. Uh, so they preserve everything in formaldehyde. Um, so that formaldehyde does have a smell, um, but I am definitely very used to it by now. Um, I've done many, many dissections. Um, so it doesn't smell, um, but for some people, they definitely do have a little bit of a smell. But it doesn't have a sort of rotting smell or anything like that because it is a preserved uh, specimen um, for dissections. Um, so it doesn't have a, a bad smell. It has more of like a, exactly what you think a dissection will smell like if you've ever done one. Can we see a shark's heart? Um, I will try to find it. Um, sometimes it's pretty difficult to find. Um, while I look for that, are there any other questions? Uh, can you explain again how the liver is the biggest part of a shark? Yes. Um, so for overall size of their body, um, the liver is going to be the largest. Um, I know the skin looks like it may be. Um, but for the, this species, I know that that is the largest. Um, maybe for other species, it may be a little bit different. Um, but their skin and their liver are very, very close in, in, you know, in total size of their body. Uh, where is it? Okay, uh, were there any other questions? What is the largest species of shark? What is the largest species of shark? Awesome, that is one of my favorite questions. Uh, so the largest living species of shark right now is going to be the whale shark. So the whale shark is the current living species. The largest shark that we have ever discovered or have proof of existing is going to be the megalodon, um, uh, which is luckily doesn't live anymore. Um, so each tooth of a megalodon is roughly about this big. Um, while a great white shark's tooth is only about this big. So that's about 10 times as large. So imagine a, sh uh, a great white 10 times as big would be a megalodon. Or larger. We don't really know because the only thing we can find, like I mentioned earlier, are the teeth. Um, so for a whale shark, whale sharks are a little bit different. Uh, they're kind of more like a whale, hence the name whale shark. They don't have um, those nice, ferocious teeth that everyone thinks of, those nice, pointy ones, um, even like our uh, dogfish right here. They do have pointed teeth. They're just very small. Uh, whale sharks are going to be eating things like krill and plankton. Um, so they eat just like a baleen whale does um, by sucking in a whole bunch of food. It filters through, and then they consume it. Okay. I love all these questions. Um, I definitely enjoy answering questions about sharks. So if anyone does have any more questions, feel free to ask. Um, even if the video is after, feel free to ask again. Okay, do we have any other questions, or are we good? Okay. Um, well, thanks for joining today, um, everyone. Um, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about sharks here and our, um, what we learned the rest of the week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye and enjoy the rest of your day.